Hello, landing crew. Welcome to our 30 week pregnancy update. This week, our baby girl is over three pounds. She is over 17 inches long. So not only is this the exciting 30 week pregnancy update, but this is the first video that's gonna start Vlogmas. Vlogmas technically doesn't start till December, but from how the videos are printing out, you guys are gonna get a video every single day until the end of December. And yes, I'm going to be exhausted, <laughs> but we love doing Vlogmas, so we're really excited to start this. So I guess the biggest symptom I've had in the last two weeks is is my heartburn and I kind of talk about it in every video but I feel like the heartburn I've had with this pregnancy is as bad as I had it with Danielle. With the boys I really didn't have that bad of heartburn really indigestion. I mean I had the normal amount that you have because you have a baby squishing everything up in there but Danielle I had the worst heartburn ever and I know it's just an old wife's help but it kind of makes me wonder like does she have a lot of hair like Danielle? I kind of hope so because I love the pigtails. I am getting ready with headbands and bows and we're just still so over the moon excited that we are going to be having a baby girl. Other than that, I'm out of breath. We went to Disney World for a week and that was so torturous, so exhausting. The kids had fun, but it was a lot of walking and just a lot of having to push through the pain. It definitely made my daily like cleaning that I would complain about seem really trivial, but I do feel like my belly this pregnancy is getting more stretch marks. Danielle hardly gave me any stretch marks. And then with Lonnie Jr., he just made my stomach explode in stretch marks. I really didn't get any new ones since him, but I definitely feel like she's going to experience me beyond belief. I did have my 30 week midwife appointment, which was great. She did determine that baby girl is head down. And of course she can flip at any point, but usually between 30 to 33 weeks is usually when my kids flip head down. So here's the hoping she stays that way. As far as weight gain, I've only gained one pound in the last two weeks, which is amazing considering all the junk I consumed at Disney World. I am trying to just not worry about the weight gain. I go back and forth like some updates, you may watch it, and it may seem like I'm really fixated on my weight gain, but this pregnancy update, I'm just kind of like, whatever. Because I am delivering at a birth center this pregnancy as opposed to the hospital, I'm trying not to be induced. It's just a completely different experience and I really didn't know what to expect. So we kind of just talked about protocol and different things like that. I definitely am feeling nervous about it. My body's never went into labor on my own and the closer we're getting to the due date, it's definitely kind of becoming real. And I'm like, what if I don't go in labor on my own? And I know a lot of people have asked that too, like what will happen if I don't and pretty much the plan is is if I don't go in labor by I think it's like 41 weeks and five days we'll schedule my induction on 41 weeks and six days I don't want to go past that 42 week mark I did also talk to her about like the hypnobirthing or doing the doula Lonnie and I really have went back and forth and we really hadn't decided yet I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with the doula I feel like December is gonna go by really fast and then January we have to spend that time really preparing I know some of you have been asking like when my baby shower is gonna be like because I'm doing the virtual baby shower. And as I mentioned in my last update, the registry is done, the links in the description, pinned comment, all that great stuff. I got out the calendar before the video and decided that I will do it around January 20th. I'm trying to do it as far away from Christmas as possible, just because I understand Christmas is just kind of a busy time of the year. So I wanna kind of give everyone a break away from that. So she's measuring great. My SPD is still horrible. I mean, as I mentioned, we went to Disney. Everything's kind of painful. I kind of feel like my body is breaking <laughs> but at the same time I've made it this far we only have 10 to 12 weeks left so I'm just hanging in there I'm trying to do exercises there's different like pelvic lifts you can do I am trying to be more healthy I know that has nothing to do with SPD I think altogether in pregnancy I want to feel better than I do I just feel kind of junky I'm a junk food person anyone that's seen grocery hauls know that so I'm definitely trying to be better about it Lonnie is too usually my pregnancy updates in the past aside from the last one are usually sponsored by Timmy Blends. We've worked with them so many times. I can't even count at this point. I really didn't talk about like Lonnie's detox because he also got tea as well. They sent him a tumbler. He did the detox one. So even if you're not pregnant and you're just watching this just because you like my updates and maybe you want to try it out. And thank you, Timmy Blends, so much for sponsoring this video. Again, for us, you guys are awesome. I feel like the detox is a great way just to get all of that junk out of your body. Or if you're wanting to kind of curb your appetite a little bit, the skinny tea that I've talked about in the past is wonderful. Right now is a great time 
time if you've been like really wanting to try it out but maybe not wanting to pay full price for it they are currently having like black friday sales like crazy so it's definitely worth just trying it out and seeing how it works for you i will leave any like coupon codes anything like that in the description so definitely check that out as well i know lonnie has mentioned that he just really likes how it feels after the detox he has always loved detoxes and he loves teas he's definitely more about being healthier and not having like chemicals and junk in your body i've never actually talked about this before but um he doesn't like for me to drink any diet sodas when i'm pregnant because it has aspartame in it he just doesn't really like those toxicities and things like that so the detox is a great way to kind of get rid of that so this is the pink one i was talking about as i said they have different colors i kind of demonstrated this in the past i don't have it filled up because i don't usually drink the tea at night anyway this is just the cool tumbler you can open it you can put cool things in there like tea leaf bags i don't know a love note something i just think it's cool because when i first got this i had never seen anything kind of set up like this before but you put the tea you boil the water it comes with instructions and you kind of let it set you can put ice in it so it's cold but this thing right here is the strainer so it keeps these tea leaves from going in your mouth because well that's gross and, and then you just drink it I, th I think it's awesome. I think it's a great, great thing. So in the past I had done it where I would ask you guys on community if you had any questions for me. I think how we're gonna do it so everyone can be included is just leave any questions you have for the next pregnancy update in the comments. If you've watched previous pregnancy updates, you know that I'm kind of a bear it all kind of girl. So there's not a lot of questions I won't answer. But after I'm done answering the questions, I'm gonna answer one big question that we keep getting and that is kind of what we're doing about our car situation. Okay, so there's 152 comments. So give me a minute. Okay, so Nancy Chuba asks us, how many children do you want to have? Five was our number, but obviously we're going to have six. So Tasha McDermott asks, since Liam and Penelope will both be in your room, are you worried about Liam getting woken up in the middle of the night? Liam is, it's like he's a heavy sleeper, but he's a light sleeper. I'm a very loud talker. I do my live streams in this room. I feel like at one hand, he's used to noise, but on the other hand, I feel like he will wake up easily. Most of my newborns start sleeping through the night between like five to six weeks old. That's just always how they've been. I think this was a rhetorical question, but she said, how are you now just getting uncomfortable? LOL, I'm 21 weeks and can barely turn over in bed. What a lot of people don't realize is I don't talk about how miserable I am. <laughs> I don't talk about how much I'm in pain unless you're on live stream. And that's usually because I'm just ranting about it. But I just feel like this is my sixth baby. I've had so many. Of course, I'm uncomfortable. I'm pregnant. And I really don't like complaining about it. Clarissa asks, are you sure you're not having twins? I've had two ultrasounds. We're actually having an ultrasound in the next week or two. We wanted to have one, but we wanted to wait until she was like big enough and she had enough baby fat on her. I will be one asking him to check to make sure she's still a girl, two, make sure there's only one. <laughs> okay, Lauren's Vlogs asked, how did you choose Penelope's name and what would you have named her if she was a boy and what would be her middle name if she was a boy and what is her middle name going to be? <laughs> so her name's gonna be Penelope Joe. Uh, Joe's my middle name, so it's something I'm passing down to her. Penelope was a name I had seen another YouTuber friend of mine. I was pregnant with Liam or Liam was just born and I was like, oh my God, that's such a gorgeous name. Lonnie later found it when he was just scrolling through and as soon as he said it, I remembered and I was like, oh my God, we have to name her that. If she would have been a boy, her name was gonna be Bellamy Quinn, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this question is about Boston. I'm an hour from Boston. Are you gonna be actually in Boston or outside of Boston? Boston is very expensive. We are not gonna be living in Boston. I always say we're moving to Boston because everyone knows where Boston is. But if I were to say one of the many small towns we're considering, no one would know where it's at. So we're actually considering many different areas. I won't go into too much detail, but I mean, it depends on how close to Boston it is because Boston's the area that's gonna have like the autism services and the things we're looking for. It depends on house availability, crime rate, school system, special needs school system. So there, there's just a lot we have to consider because I did talk about my weight gain in the last pregnancy update. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's normal to gain between 25 to 30 pounds. And how it works is if you are in a normal BMI range, you're supposed to gain, I think it's 25 pounds or something like that. So I'm considered overweight according to my BMI. So that is why I actually need to be gaining less. I should only gain, I think it's 11 to 18 pounds 
pounds. Did you go natural with the other kids? No, I did not. I almost went natural with Lex. That's another story, but no, I had an epidural with all the children. Okay, so that is it on the questions. Again, if you want to have any included in my 32 week pregnancy update, please leave them in the comments below. But another common question we're getting on pretty much all of our videos is what we're going to do about our van situation. If you are new here, I'm actually pregnant with baby number six. We have a Chrysler Town and Country van, which we've loved. We've had it for almost five years. So we've had it for a very long time. But the problem is, is it can only seat seven. I think there's two different vans that can seat eight. But what that means is we will have three car seats in a van. The older kids are like adult size. Like Lonnie Jr. is like 5'10", Daniel's 5'6", Noah's like 5'3". They're all pretty good sized kids. So it's kind of like having little adults all squished in there. And that becomes an issue with Noah because Noah has sensory issues. So that is kind of like our absolute worst case if we can't do anything else. It's the Honda Odyssey can seat eight and then there's a Sedona one that someone has mentioned to me that can seat eight as well. That's our plan B. Our plan A option is to get a passenger van. There's only a couple passenger vans. There aren't a lot of options because obviously not a lot of people have a bunch of kids like we do. One of the biggest options is the Nissan NV for transit and then there's one other. It's a Mercedes. Lonnie really wants it but I don't want it because of the price tag <laughs> and everyone's been asking like when we're going to do it if we're going to upgrade before she's born and we are not which may sound crazy to some people because that means we really can't go anywhere as a complete family our main priority right now is buying a home very rarely do we all go out as a family anyway so we do plan on upgrading our van but it probably won't be until next summer to the fall. For now, we're just going to kind of make do. It's not ideal, but again, we have to put our priorities. And the thing is, is if we went out and got a new van right now, it could cause issues with us buying a house. And we don't wanna do that. I'm not gonna go into detail because that's not what this video is about, but let's go and show you guys the belly. All right, guys, so this is my 30 week and two day belly. I can't even begin to imagine that I have 10 to 12 more weeks of growing. Like, oh my Lord. But here we have it. I think there might be a food belly in there with her though. That's what I'm thinking. Cause whoa, I mean, that is humongous. Oh. Yeah, I think the stretch marks, I think that's a kind of new one I'm thinking. My skin looks so stretched at this point, like who knows, but Thank you guys so much for watching. We are on two week pregnancy updates now, which is amazing. So you will get another one at 32 weeks, 34 weeks, and then we will be weekly. If this is your first time here, go ahead, make sure that red subscribe button is hit and we're gonna see you guys next time and hopefully I can breathe better. All right, guys, bye. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave.